Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you some of the new things in the Construct 3 release 368. Let's dive in. Now one of the big updates in this release is we are, um, we've made some big improvements to the Windows WebView 2 export option. So this is a really nice option for publishing to Windows. Uh, it's a small and lightweight option which uses the system web view, um, which is nice and uh, efficient and great technology by Microsoft. So we, uh, we're using that more these days and we have some new plugins uh, which now support WebView 2. So you can now use the WebView 2 export option to integrate with Steam with our new Steamworks plugin which is available from the add-on exchange. I'll put all the links that I'm showing here in the video description. We also have a brand new Epic Games plugin which will help you integrate your games with Epic Games and publish to the uh, Epic Games store. Um, that's a new capability which wasn't previously possible. So uh, previously you could uh, publish to Steam using NWJS uh, and now you can do that with Windows Web V2 and also publish to the Epic Games Store. And both of these are open source plugins so you can find on GitHub there's all the uh, code that we've written for the integration here so you can see how it all works and extend it if you need more. In addition to that, there's also a new file plugin for WebView 2. This gives you access to um, file system access uh, using file paths and folders, uh, much like you can with NWJS. So uh, as you might see that we're, we're really trying to move everyone over from NWJS to uh, WebView 2 where possible. All of this is Windows only at the moment, but we uh, recommend that if, if possible that you move over to using that instead of NWJS. This is all now powered by a brand new wrapper extension SDK that we've uh, produced. This allows third party developers to use uh, C++ to extend the Windows WebView 2 export option. That's what we've used to bring these new Steam, Epic Games and file system features to the WebView 2 export option. So third party uh, developers can go ahead and do even more um, extensions using that technology. So we're pretty excited about that. We're looking forward to seeing what people make with that. Next up, I'm going to cover uh, one of the new plugins in this release is uh, we've now added a CSV plugin. So this uh, allows you to use the comma separated value data format. It's got its limitations, it's a very simple format, but that also means it's very easy to learn and to use. So now you can add a CSV file to your project and it is literally just uh, um, value separated by commas and uh, you can have a different record on each line. So super easy to get to use, you don't have to learn the syntax of, of something like JSON or XML. And uh, you can um, of course load that from a project file and the way it works is um, it's got two actions, so you can pass comma separated values so you can load the CSV string from the project file. You can choose a delimiter so you can use a tab, so you can uh, use other formats like tab separated values. Um, you choose an array to store all the data that is loaded in and you can automatically determine the data type. So anything which looks like a number becomes a number instead of a string which contains a number. All right, that's enough of that. Now I'm going to move on to one of the um, bigger new features in this release. If you previously liked JavaScript coding um, or were hoping for a static language with static typing and better autocomplete, we've got great news. We've now got TypeScript support in Construct, including official TypeScript definitions for the full set of uh, Construct APIs. So here I've got a project which is a Go Shooter code, but it's been converted to TypeScript. And this folder here on my desktop has all the files for it. So you can say, see there's a .ts file, which is a TypeScript file for every single JavaScript file in the project. Now, um, there's a lot to talk about here. I'm going to cover this only in brief for this video. We'll have more information about this coming out soon. Uh, but in short, TypeScript is a extension to JavaScript, so it can do everything JavaScript can, but it adds a type system on top, which is great for tooling. And I'm just going to show you very quickly how this works in Construct. So I've opened a folder project from my desktop and you can use this auto reload all on preview option, um, which means every time I click preview, it will reload these files, these JavaScript files here. Now to generate those JavaScript files, I'm going to use an external editor and I'm using Visual Studio Code here, but it should work with any editor that supports um, TypeScript. And in, type, in, in a Visual Studio Code, I can press Control shift b and choose Watch. 
and this will now automatically uh, compile all my TypeScript files into JavaScript whenever I save them. So now I have a nice workflow where I can write in TypeScript and when I click preview in construct it will show the changes. So I'm just going to give you a really quick demo of the kind of thing you can do with TypeScript. Um, here in the code I've got player inst is a um, reference to the player sprite instance and uh, as I type uh, TypeScript is able to give precise autocomplete. This is a, exactly the correct um, set of methods and properties available on this object. It will not suggest anything which is not available unlike JavaScript autocomplete which cannot provide that information because JavaScript is a dynamic language. So for example uh, I can change the blend mode property um, and TypeScript can go even further. It can autocomplete the possible string values of this property. So yeah, I can see here all the uh, many of the options and I can for example set that to additive to change the blend mode. And to show you how this helps you code, if you make a typo and make a mistake like that, it's immediately able to identify that in the editor before you even run your project. It's telling you what the, edit, uh, what the mistake is and it's even suggesting did you mean additive with the correct spelling there. And uh, it goes further still, we have the event listener system. So you can add event listener and it's able to auto-complete the available events for the sprite instance specifically. And when I add a um, callback with a parameter, it's able to correctly auto-complete the uh, properties available on the event object, such as the is ending layout flag for whether the destroyer event is firing because the layout ended or for some other reason. So this shows you how TypeScript is able to comprehensively static type absolutely everything through all your code, which is a great aid to your uh, ability to code accurately and conveniently. And it's using the full power of Visual Studio Code, a professional coding tool that we actually use to code uh, Construct itself. It's so good. So um, we're big fans of that. And just to show you the workflow, um, Here's their player speed is uh, 200. Uh, if I preview the project, it um, moves like that. And let's change the TypeScript file. This is a .ts file. Let's make that say 400, so that's twice as fast. I'll save. That will compile the, type, uh, the, sorry, the TypeScript file into JavaScript. When I click preview, it will reload the uh, files from the project folder. And now the code change is reflected and the player can move much faster. So that just shows you the workflow you can use uh, taking advantage of TypeScript to write code for construct projects. As I said, we'll have more information coming about that and it's fully documented in um, uh, our tutorial system. You can find a tutorial on getting that set up and how to use it in more detail there. The last thing I'm going to mention in this video, last but not least, is that we have lots of uh, cool new examples as ever and you can find them in the new section of the example browser. So we have our, our go shooter TypeScript code, which I was just editing there, which is now available in the example browser. We have some amazing new examples here as well, like fruit slicing, which may be reminiscent of a game you've played before, uh, visual novel, RPG encounter, just some really great stuff there. So uh, have a look at the new examples and um, there's plenty more. See the release notes for the full details. I'm just giving you a very quick uh, overview in this video, so uh, have a read up if you want to find out what else is new. Thanks, and we hope you enjoy using Construct.